Hey guys, what is going on? This is Cardinal Bird 5 and today I have some conquest tips and I'm going to tell you and show you how to conquer and control all the territories into complete conquest. So I have completed conquest in the missions all the way through the first time. There's additional missions for the second time. I'm not sure if it leaves anything else or if you just keep repeating and get the 10 pack bundle. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. There might be something there. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the all the missions associated with your first time through conquest. So you get these conquest packs we already talked about. You got the reds. Mystery mission, which leads to the Reds King Griffey Jr., which leads to the Diamond King Griffey Jr. program. And then, of course, you have Baseball Manifest Destiny, which you get the 10 pack bundle. But let's go ahead and talk about the actual missions in Conquest. So, you get the Bronze missions for conquering each. All it does give you Universal Profile Icon, uh, XP, and Sin. Once you complete and conquer an entire division, you're going to get these cards. So, for the NOS, for example, you get this Goldschmidt. And you have to tally. So, what you have to do is you have to conquer and command all the NOS divisions. And then you get this mission to tally 10 home runs of all-star series players and get the goldie. All right, then there's Giovanni Soto for the NL Central, Anthony Rendon for the NL East, Jim Hunter for the AL West, AL Central's Alcides Escobar. I think I actually discovered that card. And AL East, in my opinion, the best one is the flashback CC Sabathia. So once you get all those done for an entire league, either AL or NL, so, so if we do all the NL, or all the AL, we get Curtis Granderson, and the NL is going to be Matt Holiday. And once we have both of those done, and by the way, you also get these packs when you conquer all the teams in there. Not, but you also you get the diamond after you do those missions for each division. All right. So once you have everything done, you'll get this command the MLB mission. You just get it, and it's Reggie Jackson. So that's pretty much all the best cards available. Um, Reggie Jackson, Sabathia, Granderson, Cesar Escobar, Holiday, Jim Hunter. Anthony Rendon, Giovanni Soto, Paul Goldschmidt. Keep in mind, you also get these packs, and you can keep replaying it for packs. So it's pretty cool um, that they added a lot more re replay, replayability into this mode. Next, we're going to get into some conquest tips and show you guys how to conquer and command all of the strongholds and territories within conquest. Now, I will admit it's pretty similar to last year. There's nothing too crazy. You start out in the middle. Um, and honestly, I don't think it really, I think you want to go west to begin. You don't necessarily like, so here's the thing guys, you don't have to play any games in the beginning. And I don't recommend to play any games. I recommend getting as many spaces as you can. Alright, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's four different uh, turns, or whatever you want to call them. Four different, uh, I don't even know what the word I'm saying here, but you got attack. Let's see here, I'll just go to the rules real quick. So what you do, is, that's the word I'm looking for. Four different phases. You got attack phase, still fans phase, reinforce phase, move fans phase. Still fans phase, basically guys, you want to skip this every time. Um, if you want to play all the games for every turn, be my guest. If you're just looking for XP or to get missions done, whatever. It's not really necessary at all. Basically, you guys want to just utilize the attack phase and the reinforce phase as much as you can. Every now and then you can use the move fans phase if you, if you need to. Um, so I'll kind of go over these. First, we're starting with attack. You start right here in the middle, and I recommend just branching out. We start with five. And honestly, I recommend barricading your first your first fort. That way, the computer doesn't mess with you too much. And you can hold square to skip moves. All right. Still fans. Alright, so you want to skip this. I know it sounds weird, but you're trying to beat this as quick as possible, and you don't want to mess up playing so many games. You can get this done in under 40 turns. So, if just think, if you're going to play 40 games, that's 120 innings. That's, that's a lot of time that you don't really need to even worry about. So go ahead and skip the reinforce phase. You just hit the option button to skip. Alright, so reinforce. That basically, you're going to get uh, reinforcements for every turn. Now, for every territory that you own, you're going to get um, reinforcements. So, right now I have six territories, I have six million fans, and that means I get two reinforcements. So, I believe it's every three territories you get, you know, you get one million fans. So, we just want to reinforce those somewhere, keep barricading our home base. Move fans, you don't really need to worry about moving fans right now, so skip that. So you just want to keep filling in on the empty hexagons. 
Still fans, we skip this. We'll go ahead and set that up here. Move fans, skip that. Still fans, we're gonna skip. So it takes a little bit to get this going, but once you get it going, like you're gonna get to the point where, you know, you're gonna have, I don't know, say 40 territories, and you're gonna get 10. And then eventually, it's just, you're just exponentially gonna keep growing and it just gets easier and easier and easier. So right now we're already up to three extra. Move fans again, you don't really need to worry about that until you want to start taking over the strongholds at the end. You can fill in the empty spaces. We're not trying to attack or anything really. We're gonna wait till we do that. And I always make my way out west because there's just a lot of room. And that's really the only reason. I'm not I'm not looking to go out and attack Seattle, Colorado, or Oakland. I'm not really trying to mess with that until later. So now you can see we have 13 territories, so we're up to 13 million fans, which gives us four reinforcements. That's so we go ahead and put five on that. We we'll add four to that, which will give us five. Move fans, we skip that. Basically, you're skipping move fans and still fans. You don't need to ever steal at all. You don't need to move fans until later. I just want to fill these in. Alright, and tap square here so it simulates. Bam, so we got 17 territories. So now we're going to get even more. Skip the reinforce. Bam, so now we get five reinforcements. Again, we're skipping that.
All right, so you can see we have up to 17 now in one hexagon. Um, like I said, exponentially, it just keeps getting easier and easier and easier. Um, the very beginning, it is somewhat of a struggle, but once you start expanding out and getting more territories, um, it gets it's it's really easy, guys. It's not difficult. Just be patient with it. Don't try to play any games. You don't really need to. Just keep an eye on your home base. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I can try to answer. Um, you guys can also watch my video from last year. It's a pretty similar concept. The only thing I would say is different is try to pay attention to your uh, home base and just make sure that uh, it's not being surrounded by other teams. If it is, go ahead and move some fans or reinforce some fans and uh, just go ahead and fight them off. But either way, you're still going to be getting territories and uh, you're still going to be making progress one way or another. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Car Number 5 signing out. Peace.